Hello guys, we are going to study uh, biomedical uh, instrumentation this particular semester. I am going to teach this and uh, the explanations which I am going to give will be in continuation with the signals and systems which I have taught you in previous class. So then only this particular class will be of uh, interest actually. Right? Kainya semester level signal systems are very important. That is a continuation of the continuation. Uh, that makes sense actually because uh, biomedical uh, um, instrumentation out and out normally like uh, whatever we study like uh, instruments are uh, physiological uh, system body in the physiological system manasala can be parts and analyze whatever it is we will be uh, most probably we will be discussing about the signals which we acquire from the particular section of the body right Look, this is the topic of uh, the topic. To understand the functioning, understand the functioning of the physiological sections, or else uh, to understand the section, understand, sorry, to understand the physiology of the particular uh, uh, body. So, healthy body will emanate a signal that is going to be significantly different from the unhealthy body. Right? Let me so let me explain that one more time. A healthy body will emanate, or else will exhibit, or else will give a signal that is going to be distinctively different from a unhealthy body. Right? Apo or a healthy body in the signal um, unhealthy body in the signal um, So in order to understand the uh, real functioning of the particular organ, we need this significant information that can be procured only through the help of the signals i hope you understand the logic actually apo or nan parayanad idana like i hope you understand it very clearly like look nan parayanad idana mottham idana healthy body undu unhealthy body undu healthy body il nammal korcha signals edukkunnundu unhealthy body il nammal korcha signals undu apo aa signals nammile kore vyathyasam undu nan paranju already apo Healthy body varana uh, signals in information will be distinctively different from the unhealthy body. This is what I am saying. So the doctors they tend to rely on the biomedical instruments. Manaslayo, they tend to rely on the biomedical instruments so that it will be easy for them to understand these signals that emanate from the human body. So Mottamidana. Okay, like the entire uh, five modules, five or six, six modules will be discussing about these things actually, right? And some students they uh, may be tempted to ask why we need to study biomedical engineering uh, as far as I mean why we should study like electrical students are learning but why should we study actually? So he question under uttaranu parayan adha, rendu darathilu uttaranu en parayan. First darathilu look. The world is changing actually. The, look, the entire engineering field is being revolutionized. So, interdisciplinary in Parayana Karya Manu. Interdisciplinary. Look, this is going to be the next million dollar thing actually. So, the students who are stuck up with the pure electrical, it's pretty hard to survive. I'm not saying that you cannot survive. But the interdisciplinary is the next best thing, next big thing. So that uh, for survival purpose or else look to make a big leap idu nammal ee karyam nammal manasilakkanam appo interdisciplinary nu parayanadu like uh, interdisciplinary means what ningal manasilavallo electrical nammalde core aanu pakshe enal nammalde applied idu undallo applied field nu parayanadu maybe mechanical aayittu undavum civil aayittu undavum electronics aayittu undavum computer science aayittu undavum whatever it is pakshe out of that most interesting life saving mechanism nu parayanadu ee biomedical subject aanu valare easy aanu actually so, this is one aspect. On. Like I told you, like I will be giving two aspects for the particular question. Why biomedical engineering? Right? Two aspects. One aspect is interdisciplinary is the next big thing. And uh, uh, the, you know, the survival for the pure electrical students is going to be very, very hard in coming uh, days actually. So, to make a big leap, uh, you know, actually interdisciplinary is a key thing. And the biomedical is a very, very, you know, very, very promising field that where you can exhibit your uh, uh, you know, actually, electrical engineering skills there um, immensely, right? So that it, it 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 can reward you back uh, very richly, actually. So this is one aspect. 
ഓക്കെ ഇൻ്റർ ഡിസിപ്ലിനറി ആയിട്ട് ഇവിടെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ഓക്കെ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് തിങ് ഇസ് ദിസ് ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഇല്ല ഇല്ല അല്ല അങ്ങനെ പറയാൻ പാടില്ല ഈ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആൻഡ് നട്ടൽ എന്ന് പറയാമല്ലോ ദ സ്കെലിറ്റൺ ഐ മീൻ ദ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദറ്റ് നട്ടൽ എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ബാക്ക് ബോൺ റൈറ്റ് ദ ബാക്ക് ബോൺ ഓഫ് ദ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഈസ് അവർ ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് യു ടേക്ക് ദ ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഫാൾസ് അപ്പാർട്ട് ആക്ച്വലി സോ ലൈക്ക് പൊതുവേ ഒരു 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 തെറ്റായിട്ടുള്ള കാഴ്ചപ്പാടുണ്ട് ലൈക്ക് ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ആൻഡ് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ ഓറിയൻറ്റഡ് ആണ് പക്ഷേ അകത്ത് നമ്മൾ നോക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ഉണ്ട് ഇല്ല എന്ന് പറയാനില്ല പക്ഷേ അകത്ത് നമ്മൾ ഈ സബ്ജക്ട്സ് ഒക്കെ ലൈക്ക് ലൈക്ക് കുറച്ചുകൂടെ സ്ക്രൂട്ടിനി ചെയ്ത് നോക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് എത്ര ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഉണ്ടോ അകത്ത് ഈ ഫീൽഡിൽ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഇലക്ട്രിക്കലും ലൈക്ക് ഇറ്റ് പ്ലേസ് എ ഹ്യൂജ് റോൾ ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ലുക്ക് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് മൈ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് Uh, before coming to cape i have taught a biomedical engineering for several years actually and most of my students are well settled and they had a biomedical as their base actually right biomedical base aitund ipo biomedical base aitu ulla player ma angane nalla flourish aitund adu pole thane electrical base aayi vachittu adana shesham like pg il biomedical edutha player um kore undu idile scope immense aanu okay so itra karyam i told you so first thing is interdisciplinary is the best thing or uh, or minute so first thing is a interdisciplinary aspect second thing is electrical engineering plays a backbone role or also role of backbone for the entire biomedical because most of the design process design process of biomedical instruments it takes the q or else it takes the aspects what we have studied in electrical engineering so it is a, i mean it's it's a, i mean it's not a correct attitude to tell that biomedical doesn't belong to electrical directly right it is very very significant and very very related to our electrical field just as our electronics and communication field right so let us uh, study one by one so what i am going to do is in this particular uh, session uh, or else maybe like one or two sessions actually i am going to give a brief introduction about the biomedical and i, I and already i have given you some importance about the biomedical instrumentation but i am going to dig deep there and then the third one is some of the basic objectives very important objectives actually objectives means what what i am going to achieve with this so the basic objectives of the biomedical instrumentation i am going to discuss and then i am going to discuss about the anatomy and the physiology of the human body look without understanding the human body uh, if you are trying to create a uh, like a what to say biomedical instrumentation system most probably it may fall flat actually it may be erroneous because nammal utilize cheyam pona biomedical instruments where i am going to apply on the human body right i am going to like i am already starting than parana pole i am going to either take a measurement from the human body or else i am going to treat a human body right whatever whatever the case first thing what i have to do is i have to understand the functioning of the human body appo nammal brief aite anatomy and anatomy cherudayittu nokkum physiology physiology of the human body cherudayittu nokkum so that we will be having the complete control over the uh, biomedical instrumentation subject right and uh, e vague classification or a general classification of the biomedical instruments i am going to briefly introduce you because nammal ellam padikkan ponadhu adana entire r model um nammal biomedical instruments kurichana nammal padikkan ponadhu but what i am going to do here is i am going to give a insight or a bird's eye view molil nu nammal angane just cherudayittu angane molil thana ingane classifications mottathinte classifications nammal nokkitta anga like a friend lot povu and uh, yeah the sources of the biomedical signals and then man instrumentation system and uh, while designing a biomedical instruments what are the constraints that you have to follow and uh, several things we are going to study right so mottathile this subject is going to be very very interesting and uh, you know uh, if you really want you can make a living out of this particular subject athra or or kidu subject aanu and idile kore scope undu job unda scope undu കേരളയിൽ ഇപ്പോൾ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ഇങ്ങനെ മോളിൽ വരുന്നതാണ് ഞാൻ മനസ്സിലാക്കിയത് 
പിന്നെ തമിഴ്നാട്ടിൽ നോക്കാം തമിഴ്നാട്ടിൽ ആൾറെഡി പീക്കിലാണ് ഇറക്കുന്നത് ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ സബ്ജക്ട് പിന്നെ സിംഗപ്പൂർ ഹി വെൽ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് കൺട്രീസ് ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടല്ലോ ലൈക്ക് സിംഗപ്പൂർ ഫ്രാൻസ് യു കെ ബേസ്ഡ് കൺട്രീസ് യു എസ് ദാർ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ റിസർച്ച് വാട്ട് ദ ആർ ഡൂയിങ് അറൽ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ജോബ് റിക്വയർമെന്റ് ഇസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റേഷൻ അറൽ ഐ ക്യാൻ ടെൽ യു ദാറ്റ് ദ ജോബ് റിക്വയർമെന്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ എഞ്ചിനീയർസ് ഇസ് ഓൺ റൈസ് ദിസ് ഐ ക്യാൻ ഗ്യാരണ്ടി ആൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ സെക്യൂർ ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് ഓൾസോ right so let's proceed so as i have mentioned earlier it is highly interdisciplinary area van look at this they have not mentioned electronics engineering they have mentioned engineering only because biomedical has some roots even in civil engineering some roots uh, in mechanical engineering and uh, you know like uh, we cannot uh, distinctively tell that it uh, totally belongs to one particular group actually so that makes it very interesting this particular uh, um, subject actually it's a highly interdisciplinary subject and uh, as you see here very closely it comprises engineering field biology of course because i told you we have to understand the nuances of the human body etc and chemistry because uh, we are going to propose some system which are going to interact with the human body like electrodes the electrolytes so very sure chemistry is involved and then medicine because we are going to treat the patients actually right so mottathile ee biomedical instrumentation parayanadu ee moonu maanu vera onna illa onnam thadu monitoring and what is monitoring continuously evaluating the positioning i mean continuously evaluating the position or else uh, the uh, what to say uh, patient and idu undallo patient and patient and living endu paraya ഹെൽത്ത് സ്റ്റേറ്റസ് മനസ്സിലായോ ഹെൽത്ത് പേഷ്യൻ്റ് ഉണ്ട് ഹെൽത്ത് സ്റ്റേറ്റസ് നമ്മൾ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് വി ആർ വി വി വിൽ ബി ടാക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് സം ഡിവൈസസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ഫോർ മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് ആൻഡ് സം ഡിവൈസസ് വിൽ ബി ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ഫോർ ഡയഗ്നോസ്റ്റിക് മീൻസ് ഡയഗ്നോസ്റ്റിക് മീൻസ് ലൈക്ക് ഡയഗ്നോസ്റ്റിക് പർപ്പസ് ഡയഗ്നോസ്റ്റിക് പർപ്പസ് മീൻസ് എന്താ മീനിങ് സോ എ ഗൈ കംസ് ടു എ ഡോക്ടർ ആൻഡ് വി ആർ യൂസിംഗ് ദ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റ്സ് ടു ചെക്ക് how good his signals are vital signals are and uh, we use instruments to diagnose if the signals what we have procured from the body is um, healthy or unhealthy so for that purpose we are using uh, some instruments that is called diagnostic instrument pine therapy that is going to treat actually so mottathile nan confuse cheyan nokkunnilla chalapam nan ippo explain cheyanadu off the track undayirkum where on illa monitor the patients diagnose any disease that is uh, present in him treat him based on the diagnostic uh, values manaslayo so itre ullu okay la so biomedical instruments manaslayo appo biomedical instrumentation nu parayanadhu mottham ellam idu adada purpose nu parayanadhu moonu maana പിന്നെ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ജനറലി ക്ലാസിഫൈഡ് ഇൻറ്റു ടു മേജർ ടൈപ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലിനിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റേഷൻ ഈ ക്ലിനിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റേഷൻ ആസ് എ മെൻഷൻ ഹിയർ ഈ മൊത്തം ഇവിടെ വരും ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോർ ദ ഡയഗ്നോസിസ് പർപ്പസ് കാരിയിങ് പർപ്പസ് ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് പർപ്പസ് മൊത്തം ഇവിടെ ഉള്ളതെല്ലാം ക്ലിനിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റേഷൻ ആണ് പിന്നെ റിസർച്ച് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റേഷൻ ഒരു സാധനം ഉണ്ട് റിസർച്ച് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ലൈക്ക് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ പർപ്പസ് ഓഫ് ദ റിസർച്ച് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റേഷൻ ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് the new requirements of the human body or else to understand um, uh, new knowledge uh, pertaining to various systems that are comprising that composing the human organism so that i can uh, proceed further in the uh, future right so what is the importance social benefits and parayam like the importance of the biomedical instrument a key question aanu okay like key question okay like so to understand how effectively our physiological organs how effectively it is functioning we need some system to interact with the human body so idu or advantage ana okay le so and one more thing is to uh, diagnosis purposes lum therapy purposes lum adu uh, use aagum like uh, so idu second importance ana third one is to have a qualitative as well as a quantitative knowledge uh with the help of various biomedical instruments that can be helpful for me to understand any disorder that is present in the human body and to propose any 
uh, aiding system or else uh, human aiding system using the biomechanics eventually to cure the human's deficiency right monanthada monantha importance to understand the static as well as the dynamic changes of the various subsystems of the body that means yan already parana mottham idana motta kadhe idana normal body engana functioning avum normal body in the i mean how and what kind of signals it will be exhibiting uh, from the uh, normal body what kind of signals i can what kind of signals i can procure appo normal signals um say for example or aalu disease rana a disease ulla or aalde signal um the mele endana difference ullathu what kind of difference it will be like so can i understand any important information just from looking into the bio signals ithreyana manasilayo appo idu anjamthathu and finally to obtain the qualitative as well as the quantitative knowledge of what our drug how our drug interacts with the body and what kind of impact it does okay la ithra karyangal undu so these six reasons gives me the importance of the biomedical instrumentation so the principal objectives so the principal objectives of uh, a normal biomedical instrumentation system is these five things what i have mentioned here that is information gathering yan parnad pole same aanu same thing aanu instruments will be used instruments will be designed or instruments will be uh, uh, proposed to measure the bio signals in order to understand the efficient functioning of the human body okay le appo information nu parayanadhu vera onnum illa the information related to the subsystems or else sub, I mean, it can be physiological system or else it can be anatomy of our human body so information mothathile information related to our human uh, organ section right second basic objective is to diagnose any shortcoming that is present in the human body right that is small functioning namal kandupidikka pin third one evaluation it is used to determine the ability of a system to meet its functional requirement adin the meaning endha as i have mentioned earlier look lung undu the lung in the proper functioning endha namak ariyam how effectively the lung functions ipo lung correct ah to function avana samayathile how much amount of uh, the air will be uh, inhaled and how much amount of the air will be exhaled idu or volume aanu volume measurement aanu appo this i can measure by using a instrument called spirometer ipo tension adikkanda kaaryam la just ne or example parayana thollu appo spirometer tells me how effectively a lung functions so nyan ipo cigarette adikina aalu vacho nyan adikina illa chuma verudhi or example appo or cigarette adikina or aalu inde lung inde functioning um normal aalukku sadharana aalkar that is i mean uh, like a people who never smoked our the lung functioning there may be a little difference in that as per the scientific evidence right so spirometer can help me to determine the ability ability of the system system is nothing but our lungs here actually so or requirement und or 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 idana or like lung and the proper efficient efficient lung property efficient at functioning avana samayathil ulla parameters undavallo how much i mean how different uh, the newly collected parameters are from the normal patients i hope you understand that right that is like evaluation i am going to uh, like procure some parameters from the lungs and i am going to evaluate it based on the standard value something like that right and the fourth one monitoring it is used to monitor certain situation for continuous or periodic information appo idu ariyam like ipo or icu or icu lo oral admit i means like we will be using um, devices uh, many biomedical instruments Uh, right for continuous evaluation in the normal uh, uh, situation we will be uh, having i mean we will be using the same devices for periodic uh, collection of the informations from the human body that is there and this is also one very very interesting aspect well, uh, sorry the last one that is uh, controlling 
automatically control the operation of a system based on changes in the multiple internal parameters what do you understand from it imagine you are collecting some information from the brain based on the requirements based on the requirements you can control automatically uh, a fan or automatically uh, a car allo so like our brain and functioning anusarichu we can control some electrical appliances or whatever it is right so internal parameters it can be multiple like not only from the brain like it can be like a multiple uh, uh, signals actually so based on the in uh, like a uh, parameters which i have collected from the body i can control or i can operate any system outside the body or sometimes inside the body as well right so ipo idu manasla illengil korcha kaiyinjittu manasla avum so as i said earlier even before we start to study biomedical uh, instrumentation biomedical instrumentation we would like to understand some of the functioning of the anatomy as well as the physiological of the body because we are going to uh, study some or else we are going to design some systems that is going to interact with the human systems actually right our interaction nadakumol things should not be complicated because we should understand the proper functioning of uh, the i mean the basic functioning the basic functioning of the anatomy as well as physiology so that the uh, you know the design can be properly uh, suited for uh, the um, uh, for the requirements of the human body right so mothathile yan parayanunnathu two types of study namal padiche avanam anatomy and physiology aanu so what is anatomy anatomy means it uh, deals with the structure of the body right what is uh, physiology physiology means it deals with the functioning of the particular body right onnam thad structure aanu rendam thad functioning aanu rendu nammil korcha difference undu right appo ee anatomy idu nammal like i mean it is not uh, necessary for you to dig deep or also to go into very deep or here just or 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 vague i to learn knowledge or like or or birds eye view matra madhi because we will be mostly we will be concentrating on the instruments actually right so anatomy can be further classified as uh, three groups of study that is gross anatomy and uh, topographical anatomy and uh, microscopical anatomy okay le itra idu venda avashyam illa but ennal ningal manasilakkunnathu thettrona illa lo okay le appo what is gross anatomy it deals with the study of the structure of organs with naked eyes after dis- uh, dissecting dissecting means manasa unnado like a uh, body na dissect cheyidittu uh, using like uh, operating tools and all right so just by naked eyes we are studying the dissected body dissected structure of the organs then that kind of uh, study is called gross anatomy and then uh, topographical anatomy it deals with the positioning of the organs in relation to other topography means topography means the positioning le but topographical anatomy means it deals with the positioning of the organs with respect to other right with respect to other organ microscopical anatomy means from the name itself it's clearly suggests like uh, it deals with the study of the minute structures of the organs that cannot be seen by naked eyes like this okay le so it can be studied by using microscopes then we go to physiology physiology i hope you are seeing this physiology right so here we have three types of study sorry four types of study one is cell physiology pathophysiology circulatory cell patho circulatory physiology and uh, respiratory physiology the study of the functioning of the cells level cellular level cellular level in the study we will be doing it the cell physiology and uh, uh, like or uh, organ in the proper functioning or else our organ in the like a dysfunctioning with respect to the symptoms our type study on pathophysiology then circulatory physiology nu parayana the study of blood circulation relating to the functioning of the heart that means the heart run central le appo heart run heart run like a primary pump appo e study nu parayana the typically it will be based on the uh, you know actually blood circulation and it will totally depend upon the functioning of the heart 
So respiratory physiology it deals with the functioning of the uh, breathing organs. So it's a types of study under. Namal ellam idonnum ellam onnum padikkan povunnilla but uh, most importantly we will be discussing about very important aspects uh, from the circulatory system as well as the respiratory system so that, uh, that the, the major reason is like uh, most of the instruments which will be uh, discussing in these modules coming modules will be uh, based on the uh, checking the efficacy or else efficiency of the body that is related to the circulation as well as the respiration right so first let us briefly discuss about some of the physiological functioning of the human body as I told earlier, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, nervous system. This is the close side of the details. Other things are also there, but uh, since you are in the UG level, we are not going to discuss very deeply here. Skeletal system, muscular system, digestive one, endocrine, exocrine, lymphatic, urinary, reproductive system. Right? I am going to briefly discuss all these things, and then what I am going to do is, this moon is the moon. Maybe like in the next class, in the next session, I will be discussing it, I will be discussing everything very briefly. Once after doing that, what I am going to do is, I am going to discuss only these three in detailed manner. There are details only, we are doctors. But what I am going to do is, this is a little aggressive. So today's class is introductory one. I hope you understand. I hope you understood the present uh, class actually, present discussion. And I hope you start to love this subject actually because things uh, will be slightly different from your regular subjects. And uh, um, you know, uh, actually, we will be different. We will be different. Thank you very much.